What happens if you take a cold shower every day? The heart rate is gonna go down with 20, 30 beats a minute, 24 hours a day. That means stress is gone. Cold shower a day keeps the doctor away. What, uh, uh, what happens more is that the blood flow runs much better through the system. The nutrients, vitamins, and minerals, and oxygen, they get better to the cells. I had to woke up at the same time every day. I went to bed at the same time every day. You want to ask me if I can go bowling or I can go hang out? Sorry, I've got a bedtime. I literally put every single ounce of my effort into my goal, and that was why it worked. Once you change one thing, your mindset, you can attack everything. Mm. And I find it fascinating. I'm fascinated. Because I'll be in these moments. I put these guys on some fucking pedestal. Yeah. Which people do with you? They do with me, and they shouldn't. And I was this guy who was a piece of shit looking at these, my God, how are you guys? It's amazing. But once I worked my way up there, I said, my God, man, we can all compete, motherfucker. Let's go. So do I like suffering? I like suffering in the way that is competitive. Yeah that brings out the absolute best in me and in everybody else. If you go to the gym and you work out and you come back and you look in the mirror, you will see nothing. And if you go to the gym the next day and you come back and you look in the mirror, you will see nothing. So clearly there's no results, can't be measured, it must not be effective. So we quit, right? Or if you fundamentally believe that this is the right course of action and you stick with, you commit yourself to act an act of service. You commit yourself to the regime, the exercise. You can screw it up. You can eat chocolate cake one day, you can skip a, skip a day or two, but if you stick with it consistently, I'm not exactly sure what day, but I know you'll start getting into shape. The bad sleep, I think, is very, very impactful, and a lot of people are in a perpetually trying to compensate state for their poor sleep with overconsumption of stimulants, caffeine, etc., to make up for the shitty sleep, which the half-life of these drugs is bleeding into the night when you're trying to get to sleep, and it's just this vicious circle of a disaster that results in low <laughs> low hormone output. And it's fucking terrible, dude. I lose that much weight or everybody. Their their bodies are not the same. Right. Like you you lost, and especially in three months, you lost 100 pounds in three months. Most people lose 30 pounds, and they have a bunch, a of, bunch of marks fat. everywhere. Is there a secret? There is a secret. I developed a psychotic weight routine. So most people who want to lose weight, they go into this serious cardiovascular, just dropping calories. Yeah. So yeah, that helps you lose weight. But what happens is, man, you have this loose skin yeah, yeah. all over your body. Yeah. So I invented this routine. It was called like anywhere from the 100 to 500 routine. So I pick a light weight. Let's say I can do the bar 100 times without stopping. You want to pick something that you can do over a hundred times without stopping. And if you do stop, rest up, and by you resting up, your yeah. muscles are still working. And you can only rest for 10 seconds until you get a hundred reps. Yeah. And what that does, it literally was burning so much muscle. Like my muscle was just getting fatigued, the lactic acid. And it kind of kept that muscle nice and tight. And that's what helped me out a lot. Why can't I continue with this routine? going to the gym, being better, waking up early, eating the right foods. It's because maybe it's your kids, maybe it's your wife, maybe it's your job. And it's all just stuck in your fucking brain. You don't have it compartmentalized and organized in these nice shelves. Like you look in a garage, a nice organized militant garage. Hey, where are my dumbbells? Right there. A lot of people whose brain, hey, where's my dumbbells? Ah, uh, let me look. They're fucking throwing shit. They're looking through totes. They're all fucked up. So where am I going to put discipline in that mind if I can't find other shit? You got to be able to find all these different things in your mind. Oh, I can put discipline right there. I can put consistency right there. I can put all these things right there in that spot. Listen, the work is behind the scenes. Competition is the easy part. <laughs> behind the scenes is why the work is done. Everything is done to, to get to that one race that you need to run. When you're running, you run for hours. What? what? Dang. The human brain is not designed for success. The human brain is designed for survival. Success is not normal. Success is not average. Success is not what most people experience. 
If you are trying to experience success, you need to rewire literally the neural pathways in your brain. How you gain mental toughness, how you become the person you want to be, is constantly facing the things that you don't want to face. If you constantly run away from things that you don't want to face, how is there growth?